Ayana, right. welcome. Thank you. Um, how toxic are the chemtrails? And how toxic are the chemtrails? Mm -hmm. And what should we do to protect ourselves? What can we do? Should is a verboten word, you know. Should trying guilt, worry, and doubt. Those are worthless words. All right, so how toxic are the chemtrails and what is it that you would do to um, augment yourself? Good questions. Now, how toxic they are depends on how weak you are and how the strength of your immune system, basically. Your immune system is as strong as your beliefs. So if you think, oh, I'm a sickly being, then that weakens your immune system. If you are a worrier and you're always wringing your hands and, and, and uh, doubting yourself, that weakens your immune system. If you are a good lover and you love with sincerity and integrity, oh, that strengthens your immune system. If you like to get good laughs, that really strengthens your immune system. If you are in, in integrity and, and high vibration, so that when you fall asleep at night, you're not hiding from yourself, but you are pleased with your activities of the day and you've created no harm, that strengthens your immune system. Now, our vehicle said to you that um, electromagnetic frequencies can, and electromagnetic radiation, which is what your cell phones and, and, and wireless devices all give out, electromagnetic radiation, this will weaken the immune system. Nature will strengthen the immune system. So this is why uh, if you don't feel well, or if you want to get revitalized, uh, sit on the ground, go out in nature, or use the earthing products, they, they connect you to it. So how dangerous is it to people? It's very subtle. Uh, you notice there are more and more sick people on the planet and this, these sick people create jobs. And this is not a good sign. If you are a healer, if you are the medical profession, what you want to be aiming for is to be out of it. Not to quit it, but so there's no more sick people. That's your goal, do you understand? Yes. But that is what if it was really about health, that whole system, all of you, alternatives and, and trained, would all be aiming and working to keep people healthy, not fixing them when they are sick. You wouldn't be out of work, you would be just working differently. So, all of this is about a process. Uh, in the new newsletter that's going to be in the mail next week, our vehicles just getting it from her files, she put a little blip in there and there is apparently a video out or what do you call them? Um, videos are they? DVDs or some such? Anyways, it's going to be in the new P Times under pieces of the puzzle and there's a an address there and it says um, about this major extinction that is taking place and the chemtrails are contributing to this extinction. Why are they using these chemtrails? For a number of reasons. First of all, they block out the vitality that you need from the sun. And the sun is not just about vitamin D, it is also about the language of light, the communication that then is taken into the pineal gland. The attack of fluoride is also, uh, the, the use of this toxic substance is also an attack on the pineal gland. Again, uh, if all of this starts flourishing, uh, people and the gods may not control you and they would lose the planet. And that's the plan. Their time is over. Do you understand? Their time is over. You are just watching the dying, desperate means of, of a beings who have sort of Manipulation does not outwin benevolence. Even though you have to deal with some of these darker forces, in the end the multiverse supports the ultimate goodness. So, over the years we've encouraged you to strengthen your immune system, physically by eating good foods, by most important getting excellent rest, quiet rest, with no electronics around you, with air coming in, not air conditioning, you understand? to return you to nature and to, and to slow down. That was our advice during the entire speed of the nano, slow down, be quiet, strengthen yourself. This can counter 
the effects of many of these uh, uh, very toxic uh, chemtrails. What they are doing is uh, scientists and others are realizing that you are losing hundreds of species every day uh, cannot survive the toxicity of the planet. It is not just the chemtrails. They are one sign of a civilization who gained too much power and didn't have enough wisdom to go along with it. There are substances you can take uh, to detoxify the, the, the heavy metals. There are, there's a, a, a level of health inventiveness that has not reached the public yet. And you are going to see radical things happen on the alternative level to help you get smarter and heal and on the weird level to become more cyborg. You will have to choose. And it's possible to, in the next few years, that the alternative people really figure out how to help you purify the body, how to revitalize the cells, and how to strengthen yourself uh, against these toxicities so that they do not harm you. Energetically, you want to have a strong arc field. You want to be grounded in love to the earth, and you want to be grounded in love to yourself. Loving yourself strengthens everything in you. Doubting yourself, criticizing yourself, hating yourself, judging yourself, bad-mouthing yourself, belittling yourself. What's left? You understand? Yes. What's left? You're fighting yourself. So surrender to yourself. Look yourself in the mirror, everyone, and say, I love you to you. And do it until you start crying so that you really get the message that you really do love yourself. And stop doing things that are unloving to yourself. And that can be as simple as skipping brushing your teeth. Do you understand? Brushing your teeth is a sign of loving yourself. Because it's showing that I, I care, I will take care of myself. And then take it from there. These strengthen the field. And another thing we want to add. By the design of nature, you are highly adaptable. And we will say that you are in a time that innovation and adaptability are absolutely the name of the game. And the more you condition yourself to be strong, to be adaptable, to go with the flow of change, to use the forces of goodness and the cosmic energy to transform you, you will do it. And understand that when animals and flowers and trees and species. When, when scientists say this animal is now extinct, it means from your line of time, from the reality that you are in, that the species has migrated to a more vital reality and that it is demonstrating that your reality is not vital enough to sustain you. And there is plenty of evidence that the toxicities in the world that you are in must be dealt with. Can they be dealt with? Absolutely. Absolutely. But there are factors, factors and, and principalities that want to control the planet and they want to depopulate it. And they want to make certain that it becomes again a genetic laboratory for them and a resource center.